Just two things we need to know for this question. The sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. And an isosceles triangle, meaning a triangle that has two equal sides, will have two equal angles. The angles opposite of the equal sides will also equal one another. You see, if the length of AC is 2, and the length of DC is 1, and we know that BD is also 1, we can infer that AD is 1 as well, and then we have an isosceles triangle, which means that angles A and B are equal to one another, and we know the sum of the angles in that triangle has to be 180, which leaves us with 60 degrees for those two equal angles, and that means that each is 30. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.